Hi Aquarius, welcome back to my channel and thank you for joining me for your January 2024 love reading. So please, please only take what resonates for you and leave the rest behind. If this is your love story, comment below. And if not, you can always check my channel and your other zodiac placements for messages you need to hear. Other than that, please remember to like this video, comment, share, subscribe, and turn up your notifications for future readings. So as always, lovely Aquarius, thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Thank you to my subscribers and members and those of you who have purchased personal readings for me this holiday season. You have been so helpful and are so appreciated. And of course, if you want to dive into your own personal love story, you can book with me down in the description box below where you can find all of my details. So other than that, let's get into the reading, you guys. Again, this is a general love reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the sexy crotch watcher of. So please reverse roles if necessary and only take what applies for you. So what do we have for Aquarius, please? What is the vibe? Who are we connecting with? What is the overall energy? And what do we need to see? So we're starting out with a true love, okay? True love. Like this is the romance of a lifetime. No duh. I think spirit is reminding you that the person you're connecting with, it is true. It is genuine. It is real. Um, and you know, maybe you've had some doubts or fears about whether or not it's authentic, but I think spirit is coming in with a confirmation that it definitely is is okay we also have reconciliation someone from your past is returning to your life um now i will say this doesn't necessarily have to be someone from your immediate past as in this lifetime someone you've already messed with um an ex whatever this could be a past life relationship that's coming to the forefront in your life right now okay someone you've already connected with in other lifetimes someone that you have been waiting to reunite with and uh, this could even be one of those situations where you connect with someone and that's immediately what you feel you feel like you've known this person before you feel like you've connected with this person before and I'm looking right now at the true love card how we have these two embracing and then behind them there's like an onlooker okay so I also feel like spirits telling you it's impossible for other people on the outside to ignore or to um or to deny, okay? I think it's obvious to everyone around you that the love that you have for each other is genuine, okay? So if this is someone coming back around from a past life or you just feel very spiritually connected to this person, um, spirit is saying that this is coming back around for a reason, okay? We also have uh, separation. So this could even be someone that you were in separation with for some of you, okay? Um, and again, I keep hearing like past lives, past lives. So, you know, maybe in your previous life, you were separate from this person. Maybe there was something, some driving force that kept you apart. Um, and, you know, obviously if we're having reconciliation and separation right near one another, then spirit could be telling you that the love that you have with this person, it's not only genuine, real, true, but it's powerful enough to um, end this period of separation okay um, y'all separation is just an illusion so maybe you have felt that way your whole life Aquarius where there has been a missing piece okay or something or someone that you have felt separate from but you haven't really been able to put your finger on it I feel like this is for those of you specifically that are connecting with someone that you feel like you've known for lifetimes before okay so what else do we need to see here what do we need to know about this connection Ah, love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So again, for some of you, this could be someone who you've already connected with. Um, and if not, if this isn't a lesson that you've had to learn because of this person, this could definitely be something that you have mastered in this lifetime, okay? Learning to put yourself first, learning to respect yourself, learning not to put yourself in situations um, where you are lowering your own value or worth. Um, this could even be something that the person you're connecting with has learned as well, right? Maybe you both have dealt with situations that you needed to separate from um and so now there's a period of time coming around here in January where you and this person will reunite and recognize that the love that you share um 
is more powerful than anything you've ever experienced before. Okay. I just saw 444 as I was talking about that. Yeah. And you know, as I say, anything you've ever experienced before, I have unrequited love at the bottom of the deck saying there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. So I feel more so that we are connecting now with two people who have already seen the ugly side of love, who have already dealt with situations and scenarios and situationships where they have given or been the giver and not received in return or again the love was one-sided um and that is why we came to this lesson of loving ourselves first right so we had to learn how to separate ourselves from people who didn't see our worth from people where we were pouring in our love and we were pouring in our energy and attention and weren't getting back what we deserved so you know i do feel that spirit is telling you because of all that you've learned in this lifetime and previous lifetimes in the past that now you are being presented with this true authentic love of a lifetime okay so and look at that y'all worth waiting for are you kidding divine timing is at work in your love life so obviously everything that you've been through it's for a reason and this love is definitely worth waiting for okay you've experienced enough of these unrequited situations you've experienced enough of the lessons of the heartache of of feeling like you're um Again, like needing to separate from certain people, places, and things. That phase is over, okay? And it's in with the the true love, the, the new love, the new experiences, ones that you have been manifesting, ones that you've deserved. So that is what I see here for the overall energy of the connection. Let's move into the tarot, okay? Let's find out more about this person. What do we need to know about them? What are they currently thinking about Aquarius, please? What is in their mind? What is in their heart for Aquarius, please? So you guys, we're starting out with the, the Hierophant in the reverse. So Aquarius, maybe you recently or maybe not even recently, but in your lifetime, you have removed yourself from institutions or traditional um, constructs where you have felt very restricted. Um, this could have been a marriage that you were in. Um, and again, this, this could be something your person is going through, right? Um, they've probably dealt with situations that felt very unbalanced or again did not make them feel very connected to their spirit to their soul um the hierophant in reverse for me is like a, a marriage of obligation or like a situation of obligation so seeing as it's I feel coming to an end, right? We're, this isn't someone who is actively uh, participating in a situation where they feel spiritually connected and committed and all those things. I feel like this is someone who has actively broken away from those constructs, who has awakened and realized what it is that they really believe in connecting to their soul and and to their desire and their path forward in life okay so this could be going along with what i said right experiencing those unrequited situations experiencing um dynamics where the love wasn't true where the love wasn't real let's elaborate on that Yeah, so we have the Six of Cups. So again, I, I feel like, Aquarius, you've connected with someone that you um, that you are very much so tied to via the soul. I think this person is also aware of that, that they have this feeling that's pulling them, this nostalgia when they connect with you that um, helps them to see why this construct failed in the first place, okay? Why this situation was something they needed to remove themselves from because it didn't give them that feeling, okay? It didn't make them feel very connected to their soul. This to me is like a soulmate card, okay? This person is fully aware that they have this deep connection with you and even more so, not just a soulmate, but we're talking about past life connection again. So I do think this person has been waiting for someone like you, Aquarius, where they feel spiritually connected. Um, maybe they've been just kind of going along with life or going along with those social constructs, but never really feeling like they belong, um, never feeling like they resonate with certain things, okay, traditions, values, and things like that. So I do feel either they ended a commitment or um, 
or once again, they just never resonated with a certain aspect of their life. Now that they've met you, now that they've connected with you, they can't help but but acknowledge that deep soul tie, okay? Um, this is also a card of reconciliation. So for those of you who have already dealt with this person in your life, if this person was married or in another situation, um, this person is very much so focused on, on getting that loving feeling back with you, okay? In their heart, we have the Four of Cups and the Four of Pentacles, two fours. So I do also feel that this person desires to... Um, they desire to be happy, but the problem is, is that they're very much so focused on the past. There's a certain thing that they're not able to let go of, and, and maybe that thing is you, Aquarius. I feel this person really desires to connect back with you because that is when they felt the happiest. And obviously the Four of Cups is a card of being bored, being dissatisfied, feeling unfulfilled, or feeling like they missed out on an opportunity. So I think whatever this person was involved in before, they're aware that that was the thing that was causing a blockage between them and their happiness, okay? So, you know, obviously the Four of of cups for me too is like that coulda shoulda woulda vibe this person I think also feels like there's nothing they can do about uh, their situation in a sense or like there's nothing they can do to change the past um, but they're still holding on to some aspect of the past as well they don't want to let go um, the four of pentacles can be like a miserly card right clinging to the physical but we know that that sort of sets us up for failure, right? So I think that this person, um, even though they want to break very badly away from whatever this Hierophant in Reverse represents, um, they still are tied to that that concept or that um, that ideology of like needing to hold on to things lest they be lost. So I think this person does feel like they missed out on an opportunity and in their heart, they know that they don't want to let you go this time around. So now I do feel that we are connecting with a story of someone who has definitely dealt with this person before. Um, I do feel that past life connection though still. So obviously this is a very um, important soul connection that needs to play out here in this uh in this 3d so to go even further we have the five of swords so you know i think this person also desires to clear the air with you maybe have some conversations that will reveal um why they acted a certain way maybe if they walked away from you even or turned their back on you thinking oh yeah they'll be fine and they were just more so worried about themselves i think this person looks back on the past now and realizes that what they did was they screwed themselves okay they screwed themselves out of an opportunity for a true soul connection um and now all they can do is like reminisce on that that coulda, shoulda, woulda. They should have stepped up. They should have said something. They could have done this. They would have done that if this didn't happen or that wasn't playing out. So there's so many, um, there's so many like possibilities of what could have happened and how things could have played out between the two of you. And I think this person is sort of living in regret for how they acted. And that is why their heart refuses to let go because they know that they could have done better. They should have done better. They should have showed up better for you. So Aquarius, let's find out a little bit more of the blockage here. What's blocking them? What is their challenge? Okay, so I have the Knight of Wands in the reverse and the Eight of Swords. So I feel like this person had a lot to learn, okay? This is giving like someone who knows they have exactly what they want, but they're going to keep their options open anyway. And you know, maybe that's exactly why this person is living in regret because maybe they had you, Aquarius. They had every opportunity in the world to pursue you um, and to live a life of passion and excitement and adventure with you, but instead they got all up in their head. Okay, and uh, I think this person decided that they were going to go a different direction because of fear, because of, again, overthinking things. So this person, I feel, could be like their own worst enemy in a sense. They have all of this energy. They have all of these um, 
these possible roads that they can travel and potential within them to take action and again have a life of excitement adventure but instead of taking action they end up screwing themselves okay and so I think you know, obviously this person, again, the Knight of Wands in reverse could be someone who is a cheater, someone who is afraid of commitment, someone who, you know, sows their oats, doesn't stick around in one place for a long time. So I think that this person had some growing up to do, some maturing to do. And I think they've kind of gone through this period of awakening where they recognize like, damn, I thought I was doing what was best for me at the time. But now I realize my mistake. Okay, now I realize where I messed up. And um, they're sort of in a mental prison about it okay they they don't know how to move forward right now uh with you because they realize they're the ones that put themselves in this situation it was self-inflicted so anything else in regards to that challenge yeah the four of wands so now they have to face the fact that they could have had it all right they could have had this union this stability um you know possibly marriage even uh happiness and celebration of life and that is what they wanted to do here that is the feeling that you give them that is what they're aware of when they think of you aquarius is is being in union is having that happy life okay but um again they're standing in their own way of that so that's the challenge that's what they want but they stop themselves from having that with you and so now they're sort of kicking themselves because um they know they need to make things right they need to clear the air the three of wands yeah so they have been steady manifesting this behind the scenes okay they've been really waiting for things to align um so that they can move forward into this next phase but i think part of them is starting to understand like okay it's not just about what i plan for the future it's not just about you know my ideas or thoughts about how i want things to go because there's always going to be things out of my control right so i think maybe they thought they were in complete control before but now they recognize okay there's things that that they have no control over that are you know things that are like you what you do and and how you act and how you respond so now this person maybe they made you wait in the past or um you know they didn't seize the opportunity or seize the day and now they're the ones that have to wait around um for you right maybe they think to themselves well hey i should have taken action before but instead of doing that i i was caring about my own self-interest and now i need to wait for aquarius to be ready to make the move or for aquarius to be ready to move into that place of stability with me okay they don't really have a choice so the six of pentacles is their likely actions moving forward um Y'all, I feel like this person wants to bring balance into the situation, okay? I, I feel that in the past, you know, again, they recognize the mistakes that they made. They recognize the opportunity that they lost. And their goal now is to is to come in with that reciprocity. This is a card of equal give and take. So I think they know like this is what needs to happen if I'm even going to have a chance with Aquarius. I need to come in and show that I'm stable and that I'm balanced and that I have a plan, okay, moving forward. So what is that plan? Why the 6 of pentacles? The 2 of pentacles. Um so the 6 plus the 2 to me is like that 8 I think what they really need to do is show effort and put in the work um, but it's going to require them first to make some changes in in their behavior okay in their environment and it's going to pull them right up out of their comfort zone this person is um they're planning on making those changes okay that is the plan um they want to show up as someone who is going to not just be showing up but someone who's going to show up to give back um now the question is, will it be too late, Aquarius? Because again, we obviously see that this person is wanting to come back in and reconcile with you, but that's going to be entirely up to you. So what is the likely outcome here? Oh, loud. All right, so we've got the Justice card and we've got the Emperor 
So Aquarius, like I said, I do feel that it is entirely up to you. I feel that you are currently in control of your your life and the way things are going to play out for you. And I feel like this person, they recognize that, you know, maybe you have had to be that emperor for yourself and provide yourself justice and fairness um, as this person dealt with, you know, again, growing up, maturing, learning their lessons. But I see justice as, again, a universal energy of that things are going to balance out the way they need to be balanced out. And so maybe the fact is, is you've been waiting on this person to come in and, and be fair to you. You've been waiting on this person to remove themselves from, you know, a marriage or a certain dynamic that we saw before with the Hierophant in the reverse. Justice could very well mean divorce okay and uh balancing out of legal matters or legal affairs so that could definitely be the outcome here if you've been waiting on this person to remove themselves from that dynamic um that could definitely be what happens this person could be stepping up in their emperor energy right getting ready to come in and reconcile with you um, and share their thoughts about how things played out in the past um but yeah, you know, everything requires balance. We saw that with the Six of Pentacles, now with the Justice card. So I see this as a universal energy and a free will energy. This person is going to come in and create balance where it needs to be created. And they're going to show up in their highest vibration to do so because they recognize what they lost in the past. They see what they missed out on, this Four of Wands, this this possibility of being happy and stable and, you know, in union. So I, I do feel this person's goal is to do that. And that they're, they're going to be showing up at your door with that proud and um, in control energy of the emperor to balance the scales of justice here. Okay, I do feel that there was an injustice done to you in the past, Aquarius, by this person um, and they know that they need to come in and make it right okay so bottom of the deck and the processed energy we have the two of swords so I do think that it's been a long time coming for this person to come to this realization and that they were kind of standing in their own way um, maybe this person hasn't talked to you in a long time maybe this period of separation has gone on for you know long enough but I see this as a card of someone hiding, right? Hiding from the truth, hiding from needing to make a decision, hiding from saying what they need to say. Um, but in general, I think this person has failed to realize, like I said before, okay, with this card right here with the onlooker in the background, the onlooking angel, uh, I think this person fails to realize that no matter what they try to to show, okay, no matter how they try to be perceived, that their true feelings, their true thoughts, and all of that is very visible to the outside world. They think it's impossible for anyone to not see the truth of what this person um, is thinking and feeling. I think they're that type of person. So um, Aquarius, I do feel that they have gone through that period of silence and struggle, um, being anxious and nervous about the future, being afraid, getting up in their head. Um, but really, while they've been doing that, they've also been coming to those conclusions of, oh, wow, like I'm stopping myself from this inevitable outcome. I'm stopping myself from rising up into my highest vibration. I'm stopping myself from coming in and being with this person who I know is my soulmate, who is, you know, supposed to be with me and me be with them. So I do feel, um, once again, they're going to be taking action in the physical. We have the King of Pentacles here at the bottom of the deck as well. Strong masculine earth energy. So taking action in the physical, making things happen. This is someone committed, dedicated, um, loyal, okay? Someone strong and capable, kind and nurturing, that daddy energy, okay? So I do feel that that's exactly what your person is planning to do. I think that's going to be the likely outcome here is this person showing up to balance the scales. So let's get some advice for Aquarius. What is the advice for Aquarius, please? Hmm. So we have romance. Lavish the one you love with personal attention and affection. So 
I think spirit's just telling you that you're about to approach a romantic cycle with this person. And, you know, some of you might be like, there ain't no way in hell, right? You might be doubtful of this person coming forward because of their past actions. Again, maybe they hid from, you know, telling you the truth or hid from you um, or tried to hide this connection or just in general, like wasn't talking to you or communicating. I feel like things are about to take... Um, a turn, okay, a 180 turn, and I think spirit is preparing you for this, this possibility of really tapping into this true love. You've had enough of the unrequited, you've had enough of, of things not going the way that you deserve, and spirit is saying you need to prepare yourself for this new cycle, okay? So what does this person want to say to you? What is this person's message to you, Aquarius? All right, so we're starting out with, I need time to figure out all of this and what it is that I want. So I think that that goes along with that two of swords energy. I think that's exactly what this person has been doing. I think they've been taking time to themselves, trying to figure out what they want, trying to figure out what, you know, what they need to do. Okay, maybe a plan of action um, or again, just awakening to the fact that they've missed out on this opportunity and they didn't need to okay this intense love is scary to me so yeah you know going back to the whole six of cups when you feel that soul connection when you feel that pull um it can be very intense it can be a lot for someone to handle you are worthy of so much more than i can give so again this person is fearful and anxious about what they can do and, and what they can't going back to that whole eight of swords vibe i think this person is also recognizing um that their mentality in that sense is kind of toxic, right? They're self-actualizing things into their life and they're kind of driving a wedge further and further by falling into those negative thoughts. So you are the only one who seems to get me. Yeah, so obviously the connection that the two of you have, it's very intense, okay? It's true, it's genuine, um, and there's no denying that there is that connection there. No one on the outside can deny it either. I pretended not to love you, but I did, and I still do, yes, okay? So reconciliation is a big theme, reuniting, coming back together together. We also have you're an inspiration to me and others. So yeah, obviously. And if you weren't an inspiration, I don't think this person would have had so much trouble um, letting you go. And they can't do that. Okay, this person can't let you go. So let's get a few more. Yeah, again, I still love you. Okay, so... The concept of true love, true genuine love. Um, there are no circumstances that could stop this person from loving you, from caring. I'm sorry I lied to you. I don't know. Excuse me. I know you don't trust me. So, yeah, again, going back to the before with the five of swords, you know, maybe this person lied about how they felt. Maybe they walked away from you thinking that they could you know, just move on worrying about themselves and not really caring about the outcome. But as time went on, um, I think this person started to feel very guilty knowing that they left you behind when the love that you share is so real. Um, they're not going to find that anywhere else. And then also I want to become the person you deserve. So going back to the justice card and the emperor card, that is exactly why this is the likely outcome because this person recognizes their mistake. Okay. They recognize all the time that they've wasted, um, doing whatever they were doing when they could have been building with you. Okay. Um, with, with the person who inspires them, with the person that they love. Um, so this person has been doing the work, I feel, to, to prove to you, to balance those scales, to make the changes and show up in their highest vibration, okay? So hopefully that resonated with you guys. And of course, if it did, don't forget to comment below, like the video, share with another Aquarius out there and book a personal reading if you want to dive into your love story. Um, but other than that, Aquarius, I hope that you enjoy the month of January and I will see you again very soon soon. Bye.